For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix all Pangu iOS 9 or 9.0.2 .9 jailbreak errors. Now before trying my solutions, make sure you have turned off your Find My iPhone on the device, turned off Touch ID and Passcode, and turned off Airplay Mode. If you've done all the things before and still done the jailbreak but still having the problems, then you can continue on in the video. So on the screen right now is a list of things I'm going to be showing you how to fix. As you'll see there is a timecode next to them, that is where the video will start on that specific problem. So if you're having that problem, skip ahead to that certain point. If not, then just simply watch the entire video. So getting straight into it, we're going to start off with the error 0A stuck at 45%. Now if you're stuck at 45% during the jailbreak process, then you're simply going to have to head into iTunes to resolve this one. With the iOS 9 device connected via USB, open iTunes and select it at the top. Under the backups header, make sure the encrypt iPhone backup is not checked. Take an encrypted backup of your device and try the jailbreak process again. If you are still getting the same error, make sure you have enough storage space on your computer's hard drive. It should be over 10GB. If what I mentioned has not helped you at all, you can download Pangu 1.0.1 then re-jailbreak it. The version 1.0.1 includes a fix for this problem. This next one I'm just going to call it error 2 or error. If you're having this particular problem during your jailbreak journey, then the only way to bypass it and resolve the problem is to entirely restore the connected device to iOS 9.0.2 using iTunes and attempt to jailbreak the process again. You can get the iOS 9.0.2 IPSW, a link to it will be in the description. Blue screen flash, stuck at 90%. During the jailbreak process, when the jailbreak tool asks you to run Pangu app followed by prompting you to give access to the photos app, if at this stage your screen flashes blue and jailbreak fails at 90%, try the jailbreak process again, this time only launch a photos app first before opening Pangu's app when the tool asks you to. Start jailbreak button grayed out. This one isn't exactly an error, but it's enough to mean that you can't even attempt to jailbreak the device. If this is a problem that's affecting you, then it's advised to reinstall the latest version of iTunes and try to connect your device by USB at least once. A link to the latest version of iTunes will be in the description. Runtime error. This one is a bit more time consuming, but it should work. First of all, you need to completely uninstall iTunes and all of its related content in the following order. So first of all, you'll need to uninstall iTunes, then Apple software update, then Apple mobile device support, then Bonjour, and then Apple Application Support. To do this, simply navigate to Control Panel and uninstall a program. Do not restart your computer until you have removed all the applications or services, as I just mentioned. After that, you'll need to go ahead and download and install the latest version of iTunes. A link to it will be in the description. And the final step, you need to run Pangu as an administrator. To do this, simply right-click the Pangu .exe file icon and then click Run as Administrator. Installed iOS Public Beta Profile If the installed iOS Public Beta Profile message is being presented as part of the process, then you're going to have to start deleting profiles from the connected device. Open the Native Settings app and navigate to General. Select the profile entry and delete the public profile before re-attempting the jailbreak process. Error 51, stuck at 65%. Now if you're getting this error, this requires some steps again. First of all, you need to make sure all your data is synced individually to iCloud, iTunes or any other way locally on your computer. Backups created with newer versions of iOS cannot be used to restore an earlier version. Step 2, if you're using a public beta build of iOS 9.1, simply head to Settings, General, Profile and remove the beta profile. Step 3, you'll now need to reset all the settings. To do this, simply navigate to Settings, General, Reset, Reset all settings. You'll then need to go ahead and download the latest version of iOS 9.0.2 and a link to that will be in the description. After that, you'll need to do a clean install of iOS 9.0.2, setting your device up as new. Then simply download the latest version of Pangu and begin the jailbreak again. Cydia not showing up. The device here is to launch the native photos app within iOS before running the newly installed Pangu application. Exit out of the photos app, run the new Pangu app and grant access with prompted. Cydia should then open up. Stuck at Apple logo or boot loop of death after jailbreak. 
For this, you'll need to make sure a full unencrypted backup of your data locally on your computer using iTunes. You're then going to need to put your device into DFU mode, then restore your device to stock iOS 9.0.2 while the device is still in DFU mode. Now to do this, simply get the iOS 9.0.2 firmware from the description, then in iTunes, simply hold down the left shift key on Windows or the option key if you're on a Mac, and then click restore button. Once the restore is complete and the device has booted back up, set it up as a new device. For now, skip the setup for Touch ID or Passcode, iCloud and iTunes or App Store. Download the latest Pangu 1.0.1. Simply follow the jailbreak with Pangu. Once the jailbreak is done and your device has booted up with Cydia on the home screen, before launching Cydia for the first time, make sure you turn off the aeroplane mode and connect it to a stable Wi-Fi connection. Launch the Cydia app and wait for it to load everything up completely. Do not do anything and just wait for Cydia to load up fully. Once it's all loaded up, search for Cydia Substrate and install it. Wait for Cydia to automatically respring the device. Once the respring is complete, before doing anything else, hold down the power button and swipe to turn the device off. Now turn it back on, now force a hard reboot on the device. You can do this by pressing and holding the power and home buttons together until the Apple boot logo appears on the screen, then letting go of the buttons. Now if your Cydia is crashing, then here are the steps to take. Number 1. Make a full unencrypted backup of your device with iTunes. Get the iOS 9.0.2 firmware in the description. Put your device into DFU mode. Now while in DFU mode, hold down the left shift key on Windows or the option key if you are on a Mac and then click restore button in iTunes. You'll then need to go ahead and download Pangu 1.0.1, launch it and then follow the instructions to jailbreak your device. After the jailbreak, before you launch Cydia for the first time, make sure the aeroplane mode is turned off, that you are connected to an internet or Wi-Fi just fine. This is a key part so don't mess it up. The final step, launch Cydia, let it refresh or reload everything completely. Do not try to do anything until Cydia loads up fully. After Cydia has finished what it needs to do, your phone will restart. That should be it, once your device starts back up, you should be able to launch Cydia just fine. Missing settings for jailbreak tweaks. Now you shouldn't be having this problem anymore, but if you are, there is an update for preference loader now available, which fixes the issue. You can simply go to Cydia and just go ahead and update it. Winterboard not working. Now this can be a bit complicated for people so make sure you listen up carefully. Launch the Cydia app from your home screen and install the popular iFile management package. If you already have a broken version of Winterboard installed on your device then simply uninstall it from Cydia. Download the winterboard.deb file in Safari from your device, a link to it will be in the description. So make sure you're on your device watching this video, go to the description and download it. From there you'll need to install it to the iPhone using iFile's built-in installer mechanism. After that, open up iFile, go to the applications directory and locate Winterboard app, winterboard.app. Tap the exclamation mark next to the app and rename it to winterboard1.app. After that, get back into Cydia and install the iCleaner tweak. As part of the installation, Cydia will also update Winterboard and respring your iOS device. You'll then need to head back into iFile, the applications directory and rename Winterboard 1 app back to Winterboard.app. Now the final step, simply launch the iCleaner app and hit the clean option. Over the air updates issue. OTA updates are known to cause issues with jailbreaks for one reason or another. So the solution here is to entirely restore the device to clean stock iOS 9.0.2 via iTunes. So that is it for this video, if you are having any other problems on jailbreaking iOS 9 then be sure to let me know in the comments below and I'll see if there is a fix for it and make a video for it. Be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to go and check out my gaming channel which I'm signing up pretty soon. And finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat or just sure to do throughout my day. So yes, been Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching, I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.